Race fans, welcome to Chase Race number four. Before we head to the season finale at Joltis, we are here at Talladega Super Speedway for the Mobile One Cup Series race number 19. So far, we have a total of seven drivers still mathematically in contention to battle it out next week at Zenjoltis for the Mobile One Cup Series Season 2 Championship. There are five drivers that still have a possibility with a good run here today to get back into mathematical contention. So today, we're going to be showing you that. Let's step aside real quick now before we come back for the starting lineup and show you just exactly what the scenario looks like coming into today's race. Okay, so right now, seven drivers are in con in uh, contention to be still in the uh, chase for the championship next week. The only one that really is on the verge is Ziggy Bain, and he really only needs one more point to get back into contention. He's 45, but well, needs to be only 44 in order to get back into contention, so he'll look for a good run here today. But Ray Wilson, Ralph Green, Arnold Columbia, Jared Croce, if they're going to get back into contention, they're going to need really good finishes here today and of course Jacob Rodriguez still uh, having that 20 point dock that's taken him out of contention as well. But we'll see how the chase field's going to look for the season finale as in Joltis after this race is over. So as you can see there drivers such as Ray Wilson, Ziggy Bain, Ralph Green, uh, Arnold Columbia, they need good runs here today and Christian James very easily, even though he had a second place finish last week, if you didn't tune in on that, that was an exciting finish, only 26 one hundredths of a second was the finish, but uh, Christian James finished second, he is almost able to fall out here today if he doesn't come away with a good finish. Alright, so here is the lineup for today's race, Jake Berg on the pole for today's race, nice to see him up front, he's alongside of Dougie Shears. Jack Richards will line up alongside of Angel D'Souza. Then you got championship contender Christian James trying to stay mathematically in. His goal today, just finish well as the 66 rolls off in fifth alongside of Devin Wilson, who is still mathematically in contention. Then you got also the same can be said for Jake Rogers alongside of Stephen Dillon. Cody Poe will line up alongside of Ralph Green, who needs a good finish to get back into contention here today. Chad Smith alongside of John Worry. Anthony McCray will line up beside of Adam Rose. Ziggy Bain, he needs a good finish to get in. Nick Eggleston, right now, he needs a good finish to stay in. Adam Chamber will start off alongside of Timmy Pacioli, who is still in contention. Daniel Schwab alongside of Lisa Shears. Robert Bain beside Jared Crocious, who needs a good finish to get in mathematically. Same can be said for Ray Wilson. A good finish will get him back into contention. Jake Cole will start off alongside of him. Noel Stiller, last week's winner at Texas, lines up beside Bob Fergus. Robert Cruz alongside of James Bald. Jacob Rodriguez, a championship contender who is out of it, though, due to the penalty that he received back in Indianapolis, will start off alongside of Kenny McCree. Arnold Columbia, he needs a good finish to get in. John Brace, his teammate, needs a good finish to stay in. Patrick Murphy, alongside of Adrian Brace, who ended up winning uh, the truck race yesterday here at Talladega. Then it's Connor Breton, alongside of Matthew McMurray. M Amy Nathan, beside Corey Williams. John Dillon, alongside of Brandon Gonzalez, who's starting at the back again. Needs another good finish to stay in contention. Sean Galligan will lamp alongside of defending champion Matthew Rodriguez. And that is the 42-car field here today. So a lot of drivers in that red zone, in desperate mode now. And we will be watching them during the course of the day. Ralph Green, Ray Wilson, Jared Crocious, Ziggy Bain, and Arnold Columbia. Jake Berg, it's been a long time since we've seen Jake Berg up at the front here in the Mobile One Cup Series. And nice to see him with a pole position. He has ended up uh, being just ahead of his teammate. Jack Richards, which could be a blessing. As a matter of fact, you notice here, Toyota's all lined up down on that inside line for the first three rows with Berg, Richards, and Christian Janes. Talking with Christian Janes earlier, and he said it was rather surprising to him that he had a chance of falling out of the mathematical contention with his second place finish last week. But that just shows you how this chase can play havoc with these drivers no matter where they finish. So we're going to see here today who's going to be the points leader when we leave, who's mathematically going to be in contention for the championship when we go to Zen Joltis. But we still have 19 laps of action pack racing here today. Green flag is out at Talladega. Going to see those Toyotas, see if they're going to line up their nose to tail on that inside line. Angel D'Souza getting the short end of the stick early on, getting shoved up 
to that high groove. No friends for the 15. Here comes Christian Janes. Apparently, he's a little bit worried knowing that he could be mathematically out of contention if he does not get a good finish. He tried going three wide there, but now Jake Rogers says, thank you very much. I'll go down to the inside line and stick you in the middle. He's got drafting help from Cody Poe and Chad Smith. Jake Berg, though, holds that inside line, tries to continue to lead this race as he'll try and lead lap one, but here comes Jake Rogers to the inside. Rogers has help. Berg does not, and so obviously the advantage is going to go to the 25 of Jake Rogers. Rogers out in front. Rogers, if my memory serves me, is the only championship contender in the Mobile One Cup Series to have a victory. He took it in the first chase race at Riki Raceway. Here comes Cody Poe. In the five car, I'll tell you what, Cody Poe's really impressed me filling in for the injured Jordan Hester late in this season. Been putting together some good runs and good finishes as he leads the way now. Adam Rose behind him, Anthony McCurry there as well. McCurry ended up going to victory lane at Talladega in the Mobile and Cup Series. Anthony McCrary right there in third, right behind Adam Rose. Rose now goes to the inside line, and he'll take the top spot from Cody Poe. Here come a few drivers and putting together some rather good finishes as of late. They are not championship contenders, though. That's the 18 of Daniel Schwab and the 23 of Robert Band. They've been uh, on a bit of a hot streak as of late. Could they pick up a win here today at Talladega? Schwab with the lead now. Ban runs second. There's Ray Wilson, one of those drivers in the red zone who needs a good finish today, running there in third. Noel Stiller trying to go back-to-back -back in two weeks. He's there in fourth position. And running right there in fifth is Robert Cruz, who's actually up inside the top 20 in points. Been doing a pretty good job in that number four. Jacob Rodriguez there in the sixth position. As we mentioned, mathematically out of championship contention after his scuffle with John Brace in Indianapolis was handed a hefty 20-point dock as a penalty. Arnold Columbia there as well in the six. Needs a good finish in order to get back into championship contention right here as well. He's in the red zone, and he's running right there on the inside line, that number six, Angus Berger Ford Mustang. Here comes Robert Cruz to the inside. They're swapping this lead around quite a bit. And we got five laps completed of the 19 scheduled laps. Cruz out in front. Jacob Rodriguez to second. Third now is Arnold Columbia. Patrick Murphy now moves into fourth place. And Lisa Shears is in fifth. Also seen our Truck Series winner yesterday moving his way up through the field there. Adrian Brace unofficially he crossed the line last time in 13th. Oh no, Columbia. That's not what he needed to have happen. He gets moved way up to the high groove. No friends up there. No grip. He's going to the back in a hurry. And now they're going to race three wide behind leader Robert Cruz. Stephen Dillon makes the move under Lisa Shears and Jacob Rodriguez. He's also got drafting help in the form of Amy Nathan. And I believe that's Sean Galligan back there. No, it isn't. It's Adrian Brace. Then John Dillon and Sean Galligan. Starting to work their way up to the front. We're starting to see now the second wave. The drivers who are at the back of the pack starting to make their way up to the front. I see Devin Wilson there. I see Connor Breton there. And I also see John Brace there who's trying to stay in championship contention. Battle is on for the lead now. Stephen Dillon to the inside and he's got older brother John right behind him. The Dillons down low trying to lead the way here at Talladega. But now it's going to be a... A test of brotherly love as Stephen Dillon gets a challenge from older brother John on the inside. But Sean Galligan says, hey, I'll take and go by both of you as Sean Galligan moves to the inside and takes the top spot. Getting close to halfway in this race. Now 3x3x3 three by three by three behind leader Sean Galligan, who definitely has been on a roll ever since moving over to that number 84 team. Devin Wilson, still in championship contention, runs there in second. Same can be said for John Brace, who runs there in fourth. They're split up by Connor Breton and Matthew McMurray, two Mobile One Cup Series rookies who entered this season late in the, in the second half 
of the Mobile One Cup Series schedule. Battle now on for the lead. Here comes the Braun Racing number 32 car to the inside. Championship contenders going to draft with each other and work their way by Sean Galligan. No, that alliance just ended in a hurry. Oh, I think I heard somebody hit the wall. Caution is out. It's Adam Rose. Oh, championship contender Tim Fetchioli is involved. Jacob Rodriguez, Anthony McCurry, and championship contender Arnold Columbia. Cody Poe is involved. Jake Cole may have also gotten a piece of it as the caution is waving. And this may have just clinched it for some drivers not making the championship chase next week at Zenjoltis as John Brace leads the way out of turn four. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Here we go. A drag race to the line between Matthew Rodriguez and John Brace and Rodriguez led it. Wow. What a run right there by Rodriguez. Defending champ is going to lead this race under caution. But Tanny Pacioli involved, Jacob Rodriguez, and Arnold Columbia. I think those three now have just eliminated themselves from the championship picture. I'll take a look here. We know that Arnold Columbia, Tanny Pacioli, Adam Rose, Jacob Rodriguez, that they were involved, and they are right in this vicinity. Cody Poe also was involved. They're right here, so we're going to watch right in this area and see if there was contact made between anybody. But Timmy Pacioli has two wins this season in the Mobile One Cup Series. Don't know if that wreck is going to take him out of contention with two wins or not. Oh, Pacioli came up the racetrack and just took out the whole four-wide racing system there. Anthony McCray was another driver involved that we did not know about. Look at Christian James just worked his way underneath. Jake Cole actually was not involved, had gotten down to the inside line and made his way by. So Columbia, Rose, Poe, Pacioli, Anthony McCurry... And Jacob Rodriguez, those were the drivers that were involved. We're going to have to now watch and see. Now we know that uh, Columbia, if he's ba that badly damaged, he's going to be retiring from the race. So he is now out of championship contention for good. And uh, we're going to have to see if Timmy Pacioli is going to be able to make repairs. If not, he may have taken himself out as well of the championship picture. So we'll get ready to go back under the green flag on lap 13 of 19, which will give us a total of seven laps to go. Here's the way it looks. Daniel Schwab has uh, gone two laps down for some reason. He ended up having some problems. He wasn't involved in that wreck, though, to my knowledge, though. But Anthony McCurry and Arnold Columbia are the only two that have retired from the race. Tim Pacioli is running in 39th position. He has made repairs to his race car, though. He may be able to make some moves before this race is over and still remain mathematically in contention. Matthew Rodriguez leads the way. Nice to see our defending champ out in front. John Brace there in second. Corey Williams in third. Fourth is Kenny McCurry. And Matthew McMurray, good run right now, in fifth. James Bald is up to sixth. Seventh is Connor Breton. Nick Eggleston, eighth. Adrian Brace, ninth. And Chad Smith is tenth. Patrick Murphy, eleventh. Jared Crocious, one of those do-or-die racers, has to get a good finish today. He's twelfth. Same for Ray Wilson, who is thirteenth. And it's Devin Wilson, fourteenth. Fifteenth, Angel D'Souza. Sixteenth is Robert Van. Sean Galligan, who led... Uh, for a while is all the way back now to 17th and has damage to his race car you can see the front end damage to his car don't know how he sustained that but he may end up coming down pit road this lap i don't know he'll be off the pace obviously 18th is dougie shears 19th bob ferguson jake burke our pole sitter runs in 20th let's go back further through the field noel stiller is 21st jack richards 22nd ralph green 23rd john dillon 24th and 25th is john worry 26th ziggy bain 27th stephen dillon brandon gonzalez is 28th 29th robert cruz and jake rogers runs in 30th 31st is adam chambers 32nd is amy nathan lisa shears 33rd 34th christian janes 35th position is Jake Cole, 36th is Cody Poe, Jacob Rodriguez is 37th, 38th is Adam Rose, and Timmy Pacioli rounds out the rest of the remaining running cars in 39th position. Matthew Rodriguez leads him down. We're going to quickly look and see if, indeed, Sean Gallagher is going to come down pit road for that damage. He is not. So, apparently that damage not enough to send him to pit road, but I am a little skeptical on how he did get sustain that damage because there weren't any wrecks around his area but here we go Matthew Rodriguez leads him down to the green flag you know Matthew Rodriguez obviously would have liked to have been defending his championship this season but he was not able to make the chase and so he wants to show hey even though I'm not defending my championship I'm still in this thing and oh the caution is out again Caution is waving once more. 
We'll check back and see who was involved in that. I would be very afraid to look and see if Timmy Pacioli may have been involved in it because he's at the back of the pack, and if a wreck occurs, it's very hard to make your way through if you're running at the back as John Brace takes the lead. Kenny McCurry moves into second. Now it's going to be a battle between Brace and McCurry. Oh, Connor Breton got moved off the racetrack there. Oh, Nick Eggleston did. Oh, save it, guys, save it. Oh, no. Oh, James Bull gets turned around in the middle of the pack there and spins in front of everybody. Adrian Brace has sustained some damage. Matthew Rodriguez as well. Oh, my goodness me. Lisa Shears, I think, was the reason we were under the caution flag, but Kenny McCurry is the leader at the stripe. Let's go back and see what happened. It looked like they almost were going to save it, but Corey Williams, Nick Eggleston, Matthew Rodriguez, they all got together, and it, it just went south from there. This was coming down to the green flag, and we'll see if the contact was further up here. May have been... Uh, let's see. They're making their way past Brandon Gonzalez here. Everybody's trying to get up to speed. Let's look back here again around Lisa Shears. Well, Lisa Shears got turned by Christian Janes. And Janes made contact with the wall. He now has right side damage. That may have taken him out of contention. Look at Brandon Gonzalez just squeaked by. Cody Poe into the back of Jake Cole, though. But uh, Christian James has sustained right side damage to his 5-hour energy Toyota. That may have taken him out of contention. We'll have to find out. Timmy Pacioli did get by, but now let's see what happened at the stripe between uh, Nick Eggleston, Corey Williams, and Matthew Rodriguez. Now watch this carefully. These guys did a great job trying to avoid this. Right there, Adrian Brace gets into Nick Eggleston, sends him up to Corey Williams. Eggleston then goes up, gets into Matthew Rodriguez, and Rodriguez comes down and clips James Ball. But I'll tell you what, they almost pulled off saving that, and that was mighty close. You gotta give them credit there. They tried to keep this green and tried not to have that wreck occur, but a shame for James Ball getting turned around. Adrian Brace sustaining damage there. Matthew Rodriguez gonna come down. I believe he ended up getting a pretty big chunk of the inside wall. Well, Nick Eggleston certainly didn't know. Matthew Rodriguez missed it, but Eggleston nailed the wall there. That's another championship contender taking a hard lick. That may have taken Eggleston out of championship contention now, as he took a hard, hard in, uh, hard lick into that inside retaining wall. Matthew Rodriguez, nice job missing that, and he also gets by the spinning James Bald machine as well. Let's go back to green. Well, we'll get ready to go back under the green flag. On lap 18, green-white checkered to decide this race. And here's the way that it looks. Drivers that retired as a result of that wreck included, well, for some reason, Brandon Gonzalez is listed one lap down. But Adrian Brace has retired. Nick Eggleston, Jake Cole, Jack Richards, and Cody Poe have all retired from the race. Brandon Gonzalez, as I mentioned, is listed one lap down. We'll see if we can find him. There he is in the 34th position, one lap down. So that's not good for a guy who comes in with three wins this season and a current championship contender. We'll run through the top 25 if possible. Kenny McCurry leads. Matthew McMurray is second. John Brace third. Fourth, Corey Williams and James Bald. Even though he spun out, didn't really sustain much damage, so he's still in fifth. He spun across the start finish line in the fifth position. Patrick Murphy sixth. Ray Wilson seventh. Matthew Rodriguez. He crossed the line in eighth and is still running in the top 10. Connor Breton is ninth and Jared Crocious is in 10th. 11th is Angel D'Souza, Chad Smith is 12th, Robert Band 13th, Dougie Shears 14th, and 15th is Bob Fergus, 16th is Noel Stiller, 17th Ralph Green, John Dillon 18th, 19th is Stephen Dillon, and John Worry is 20th. They still got a ways to go, so we'll go further back through the field. Devin Wilson is 21st, 22nd is Robert Cruz, 23rd Jake Rogers, 24th is Amy Nathan. Jake Berg runs in 25th with Adam Chambers 26th, Jacob Rodriguez 27th, Ziggy Bain is back in 28th position, 29th is Sean Galligan, still with that damaged race car, but still running. 30th is Timmy Pacioli, Christian Janes is back in 31st, Adam Rose 32nd, Lisa Shears 33rd, and two, one lap down in 34th is where we find Brandon Gonzalez. So a green-white checker to decide this race, pace car peels off, it's McCurry, McMurray, Brace, Williams, and Bald, the top five, to lead us down for two laps of racing. Now, if the caution comes out before the white flag is displayed, the race will be declared over and end under caution. However, if the drivers do cross the start-finish line before the caution comes out and the white flag is displayed, then we will race it back to the line for the caution and the checkered flag. Green flag is waving next time by. It'll be the white. 
Kenny McCurry leads the way. Matthew McMurray gets shuffled up to the high groove as John Brace will move to the inside and take away second. Corey Williams underneath for third now. James Bald starting to close in to take the fourth position as Kenny McCurry starts to lead the way, trying to hold off the rest of this pack. Lots of contenders still in this, including a do-or-die driver in Ray Wilson who needs a win to stay in contention for next week's season finale at Zenjoltis. Kenny McCurry, though, out in front. Come on, guys, let's keep it green till we get to the, to, to the stripe. It looks like they're going to do so. Still green. Still green. McCurry leading. We are still green. Come on, get to the stripe. White flag is displayed. It's for Kenny McCurry, and there is still the green flag. We're going to race this to the checkers. It's McCurry, McMurray, Wilson, Breton, and Angel D'Souza down on that inside line. That's the top five. It is Kenny McCurry out in front, but Matthew McMurray looks like he wants to make a move. He will. Connor Breton now goes to the inside of Ray Wilson. That's for third. Matthew McMurray may be looking for his first career Mobile and Cup Series victory. Here he comes on the inside line. Connor Breton right there as well. Breton needs drafting help if he's going to try and make a slingshot move heading into the turn four and trio of vicinity. Will he try and go to the inside? Yes, he does. It's going to be a drag race, folks. McCurry up, or make that McMurray up high. Breton down low. Here they come to the stripe. Who's it going to be? It is. I don't know. It's, it's too close to call. It was almost like a dead even race right there. I don't know who won. We're trying to get the official word. It was either Breton or McMurray. Either way, a, a driver, a rookie, has picked up his first career win here today at Talladega. And the report is that it was Matthew McMurray who won the race by one one thousandth of a second. Oh my goodness. So close but yet so far for Connor Breton. And Matthew McMurray picks up his first career Mobile One Cup Series victory as a rookie. Two rookies battled it down to the stripe. Unbelievable. We're going to go back, take a quick look at that finish one more time in slow-mo, and then we're going to go and look at the finishing order. So let's take a look at that replay of that finish. That was one of the closest finished finishes in NSERA history. Actually, it was the closest. So we've set another historical landmark here at Talladega. I want you to watch this. This was incredible. Right here, Connor Breton nearly pulled it off. And why? Because he had Robert Bann and Dougie Shears lined up right behind him. He had the drafting help. But watch this. Matthew McMurray also had the drafting help up high of Kenny McCurry, Ray Wilson, and Angel D'Souza. And watch this drag race to the stripe. Breton was oh so close. I thought it was a dead even. I didn't see an advantage in either way, we'll see if we can see it here in the slow-mo. McMurray is ahead at this point, and look at that. Oh, yes, he was ahead by mere inches. Look at this. Right there. There's a picture you can put in the photo album. Man, oh, man, look at how close that was. Absolutely un. Believable. That has got to be. That is the closest finish ever in NSCRA history, and it comes between two rookies here at Talladega. That was incredible. All right. So now we'll go to the finishing order, and then we'll come back and show you how this whole thing stacks up, chase wise, heading into the season finale at Zenjoltis. But coming off an exciting race here at Talladega, the closest finish ever in NSCRA history. Well, I'll tell you what, we did have an exciting race with the closest finish in necessary history, but I'll tell you what, it actually shook the points up quite something. Look at here, Jake Rogers has now a 15-point advantage over Devin Wilson. John Brace is 20 points back. Nick Eggleston is 22 points out. Tim Patchouli 23 points out, and Ray Wilson is 38 points out. Only those drivers will be challenging for the championship next week. Ralph Green, he's mathematically out now, along with Brandon Gonzalez and Christian Janes. Ziggy Bain, Jared Crochus, and Arnold Columbia 
also are out of championship contentions. That really surprises me. And, you know, the real strange thing about it is that uh, Ralph Green isn't even able to mathematically be in contention in uh, the fact that he is 46 points out. If he had just gained two more positions on the racetrack, he may have been in contention next week. So it's only six drivers who are going to battle it out next week at Zen Joltis to try and get the championship, which actually is uh, rather surprising to me. I thought that maybe with the kind of race that we had today that maybe it would open up the door for a few other drivers to be able to challenge for the championship. Instead... We have knocked out three more drivers from contending for the championship here today, and Jake Rogers comes in with a very nice 15-point advantage over second place. There's Jacob Rodriguez. He is obviously out of it, 77 points out due to the penalty, and we are heading next week to Zen Joltas for the season finale. But we got to finish it up here. The Snickers Cup Series will be coming here next to Talladega. And then we'll find out what the chase field's going to look like there, heading into the Zen Joltis race weekend. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed today's race. We head to the final race of the Mobile One Cup Series at Zen Joltis next week. You've been watching a production of the NSRA, now merged with the NCG. MRS, the closest finish in NSRA history, just took place today. <laughs>